Okay. Not muted. Excuse now me. I'm recording. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Close my door. Oh, it's so lovely to see you. It's good to see you too, Missy. You're having such a good time in Ireland. Oh my God, do you have I to am. do you have to like put on a on a sad voice when you call home to Oxford <laughs> to just be like, oh yeah, yeah. it's not really that uh -huh. much fun here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I did, I did realize I was putting like way too many happy pictures on like Facebook and everything. So because Neil and you and were like, oh, that looks really nice. And I thought, oh, yeah, it's not really that nice to do that when three people are self isolating in their house. So how's that going? Yeah. Are they? I think they're coming out of it now. I, I did send a message to you and today saying, do you want to talk later? And he was, yeah, ideal, ideally or possibly it was something quite vague. So um it's quite hard like it's it's full on here as you can imagine like working in the shop all day and then I come out earlier to like prepare dinner and then like we have dinner and then mom and dad are just so exhausted like they've gone to bed they go to bed at like nine or nine thirty mm -hmm. and they're just physically exhausted they're great they're in they're in good form great spirit like but mm. um like on on Sunday it's the first time ever like Cora and I went swimming in the sea and mom and dad we brought down two deck chairs to the beach, to Dunmore Beach. And my dad said, this is the first time I've ever done this. Like he literally never sits down. And it was the first time where he's like, I don't want to go on the sea. I don't want to do anything. I just want to sit. And that's, I think that's just a year and a half of just being on his feet. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Doing 20 kilometers a day running around the shop. What, what the paddling, was that out near the cottage or that was someplace else? No, the paddling is on the lake and we haven't done it yet. Um, so we're trying to get a sunset one because 5 p.m. is still a bit early for the because the shop closes at six. Mm. So um, so we're waiting on a sunset paddle. Boarding, but it's going to be very still. Oh, no, I meant where um, you were paddling around in the rocks. Oh, paddling in the water. Yeah, no, that yeah. was down by the cottage. That was down by yeah, the cottage. that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. But yeah, when you walk on the rocks, um, which we didn't do, but when you walk on the rocks to the left of the cottage and keep going, you get to a little lagoon carved into the rock. But that was that was the tide was wrong. So then we kept walking. and We found that little thing, which was a little bit scary, but um, mm. but we did it. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. And then we and then if we your mom and your dad the... were with you, was that after the shop was closed? No, that was on Sunday. That was on oh. Sunday. Oh, you guys are closed on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's the one day. <laughs> it's the one day. Yeah. Um, so you're so the still there is, for another two weeks, though, right? Yeah, I'm there till the 5th of August. So um, today's Tuesday, right? Yeah. So uh, yeah, from Tuesday. next week, from next uh, Monday, their other guy um, is back from holidays. So I'm going to try and drag my mother out for a couple of days to do a few things mm -hmm. um oh it's a fox Ooh, nice yeah, it's a fox wow oh my god i'm gonna bring the camera <laughs> you see it can you see it no uh over I'm, way over I'm, in the green room there's a bit of a reflection on the oh, window, yeah, yeah, so I'm yeah, not yeah. sure. I, I think I might be missing it. No. Oh, my God. That's amazing, considering we have two cats and two dogs. That yeah. Foxes. Wow. There we go. It'll be very exciting. I don't, I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe they know about it. My mother would feed everything. You know, there's a, <laughs> we, have, we have bits of bread and seed on a plate behind the counter in the shop, and I was thinking, What's this? This is not, this is, this is going to attract mice. This is terrible. And the next thing I see this kind of flurry at the side of my eye and look down and it's a robin bird. Irish, the European robins, I think. Right. Different American robins. Anyway, and apparently this robin has been coming into the shop, flying into the shop every day for over a year. And my mother's been feeding it. It's like a weird thing. So it thing. flies in through the front door? To behind the cashier yeah and, and lands get, and and goes again <laughs> i'm serious wow wow i think it's i think it's the back door but anyway yeah basically flies into the shop gets the food and flies out again 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very strange. She's a bird yeah. whisperer. Yeah, she well, she's just an animal first. Yeah, sister. she's an animal yeah. lover. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's been neat to so see all it's... the pictures of you little with all the dachshunds and yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think that was dad mainly but no it's been good and they've been a good form we've tonight now we had the first like real proper chat about the future because you know they were they were saying like oh you haven't lost your touch and you're so good and you'd be fantastic here and I said yeah but I said you know it's just not a, it's just not right. a reality like and my dad was completely he's like no you're Neil and the kids still need you in England and like by the time you would be willing or able to come over because I said you know I actually don't really care I mean career I actually would be perfectly happy coming back now and running that shop as a proper shop like computerizing it and doing all that like mm -hmm. I have no I have no qualms I, I, I'd be very proud to run the shop right now yeah yeah but it's just not it's just not and they just said and it was really good because they said yeah and by the time you come over we just can't wait that long we can't wait we can't even wait two or three years we want to out and it's really good it's really good that dad's saying wow that's no, quite a change out. of tune because i thought he was gonna yeah yeah die there be, no. yeah exactly be going to his grave from behind the cash yeah. register yeah <laughs> you know exactly exactly um, no he they he really wow, that's that. big that's big yeah so we're gonna start we're gonna start talking about working together on a like a sale and then um and then if it doesn't sell, then we've been, then we have to think something else. Then I might try and like do something like take a year out and try and come and help them run it and maybe modernize it a little bit and then just try again then in a, mm -hmm. a year or something. Mm -hmm. So we're getting there. So I feel, yeah, you know, and I, I would, it's just, it's, you can't expect them to hang on. I mean, right. I would you know, I would feel sad when it goes, but it's their decision. It's their shop. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. And I guess, I mean, there's, I don't know anything about it, but there, there's no interim where you like hire somebody to manage it. That uh, we, 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 yeah. We talked about that. And I just don't think it's that kind of business. Cause I don't see anybody coming in like the shop should have four five, six, seven people working there. Mm -hmm. it's got like it's got like three and a half people working there mm -hmm. um so and actually I went through the figures with them tonight and like it's not that profitable it's not like that big an earner considering how much stock it is and how much they work it's not like turning over huge amounts right right you know, so right. I don't, right so I don't by know. the time yeah you yeah I guess I was to, just thinking to, to, as a bridge that if you really wanted to keep it open as an option for you, like you and yeah. you and Neil are only a, really a couple of years away from being able yeah. to. Yeah, but Neil, I mean, Neil, Laurel, you know, Neil, Neil would never run it like Neil. Neil oh, no, he wouldn't. Continue. But I mean, I yeah. guess I'm just to move. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to I move. Agree. I mean, I guess I'm yeah. just thinking that it would keep it open as an option for you. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah for you no, I agree. maybe I maybe agree. you also don't do it for you know the rest of your life but you yeah. know yeah yeah, yeah it yeah. could be worth a, a nice 10 years of it could something. yeah for yeah. sure um, yeah exactly exactly um but i think to you know amelia's only leaving in t next year and you and is you know who knows so <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, it's not so, just leaving Oxford, it's giving up your salaries and stuff like that, too. Yeah. Yeah. And I was really surprised, like my mom and dad pay themselves and the guy who works for them, pretty much the equivalent of what I get paid. And I don't get paid that much. Right. So all three of them. Or yeah, each. I guess all three, all no, all three of them added up comes to about 50,000 and I earn 40,000 before tax. Right. right. So they give, they give themselves a tiny salary. Right. Um, which doesn't matter too much because obviously the business, you know, the turnover is theirs, but um, the guy they have working for them is earning half of what I earn. Um, so in order to yeah. get in a good manager, in order to get in a good manager, 
you need to get somebody, you need to pay somebody twice as much as they've been paying. Right, right. And that's yeah. Okay, that's so the, the financial that's a behavioral just, change thing yeah. for them to yeah. take on board. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, I guess as well, like in like the market is only so big in that town, right? Exactly. Like you exactly. can modernize and make things more efficient, and you yeah. know, you could probably bring in some new customers, but. Yeah. And I mean, like today it's been boiling here, boiling. It's like almost 30 degrees. So it's pretty hot for Ireland. Mm -hmm. And so we had people, of course, have no air conditioning uh, and their houses aren't built for heat. So people were in buying, like everybody was in buying fans. But of course, right. there's a shortage of fans in the whole country. So we got like <laughs> 10 in this morning, like really fast deliveries. And then we got another six in um this afternoon and my dad was like oh i could have sold 50 of them and i'm like yeah or and then when it starts raining next week you'll be stuck with the rest of them for another two or three years you know right so, <laughs> so yeah. yeah it's 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 an interesting one to see um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anyway it's been fun and it's been really nice to spend time with them but it's it's physically exhausting it's yeah. physically exhausting yeah. like i i didn't put on the um my phone I, f I left my fitbit at, in, in oxford but i thought i was going to use my phone to just to see but i forgot but dad had it on his phone so like he did 20 kilometers around the shop today oh my god like the backs of my calves are like stiff from just yeah yeah running running up and down and around which is great I'm, i mean i'm that's i'm thrilled compared to a year and a half of sitting in front of a computer right yeah yeah so, yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, but for your anyway. folks, and it's, I mean, it's great to hear you with your folks, and they're not driving you absolutely crazy. No, no, they're great. I mean, they, 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 they only <laughs> usually it's crazy. like rah, 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 rah. <laughs> but they they usually they drive me crazy when when they when they're fighting actually, and they're not like they're they both made an effort at each other, and I keep saying, "Come on, guys, let's stay positive." <laughs> um, right. And they're making a huge effort, I think. From, and are they are they saying whether they'll stay in boil or what? What are their plans for where they want to be? Oh no, in boil, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay, yeah, here, yeah, yeah. With, with more time in Spain when that opens up, obviously, right. But it's weird. Like my dad's really struggling with the heat. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Are, what do you think in Spain? <laughs> like, and he's like, oh no, it's different in Spain because you can't. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's twice as hot in Spain. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. no, no, they'll they're happy. This is where they're from. They'll be happy here. And so, um, what got you going through all the photos and stuff? Are you just just yeah? I just um, found all the photos, and then I so I I've, I've set up a little Facebook group for our extended family called the Cunningham family photo archive. And that's been really lovely. And I found like my grandparents' birth certs and loads of things. So it's just been fun. Oh, might, nice. as well put them, might as well put them online. Yeah. I'm enjoying those photos yeah, and yeah, like yeah. just your little thing of like the vintage cabinet. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, I remember that cabinet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, because my Instagram one, I'm always kind of thinking, you know, if I did go into some, vintage little business or something that to, right. you know have a little have a small well, like you were saying about your art you're trying to build up your you know follower base and I mean you know I Instagram I kind of think yeah maybe that's something I could turn into something sometime I don't know what mm -hmm. right now so mm -hmm. I thought well mm -hmm. I'll just put loads of vintage shit on that and see what happens but yeah um, yeah you know, it's it's a, you it's already open... have a lot of followers though how did you get yeah. so many followers 240 no I don't I don't I don't know. I, mean, I think only, after all of these months, I well, mm -hmm. not all of these months. So I my account was private for Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It was only maybe yeah. 3 months ago that I put it um public, but yeah, then I would get like, you know, one more follower every you know, every couple of days. Yeah. And I yeah. would get lots of likes on the pieces of art. So people are obviously following hashtags. You know, I some of it's yeah. been like I need to figure out the hashtag and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 Um, but since I changed it from my personal name to that mm. art is life, life yeah. is art, which I'm not sure I'm all that happy with. But what do you think? Well, no, I like it. I like it. Yeah. You know, it is it's a famous uh, well 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 it's Keats, isn't it? 
Life is oh, I always beautiful. think of it. You know, I don't know who who originally said it, but I Weiwei said it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but I, he's a contemporary person. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, it's it familiar. Was... I mean, I'm sure lots of yeah, people yeah, have said yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah. now I have 296 followers, so I've gotten That's great. almost 50 yeah. new followers just since I changed the name, which was yeah, just a yeah. couple of days ago. So. I don't know. I'm still learning with Instagram, really. I don't know. Because, I mean, it's, it's, I think most of the people that I know are people who just, friends who gave up on Facebook who are over on Instagram. You know, yeah, they, I don't have that many of those people. Yeah. But, um, but it's nice to have, I, I find it really, I know Kate was saying before about, yes, definitely <laughs> mer- merchandising and being, being buying it's just shit cracking up need. and then one day i looked out my back window and i saw the swimming pool for my dogs <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> she's like and and i knew my days on instagram were over <laughs> exactly exactly but i have a there's a niche kind of there's a niche group of people who i really love and they're called span did i mention this like span housing so in the 1970s, 60s and 70s in the UK, this architect designed these kind of very modern, cheap, affordable housing um, houses that went almost out of fashion and hated within about 10 years, and especially in the 90s and since then. And of course, and it's called now, Span? Span, S-P-A-N. Okay. And he only built them, he built like about 12 estates around the UK and they're very mid-century modern. So of course the people who, the people who live in span houses absolutely adore them. And like they do up their houses, like a beautiful kind of 60s, 70s, mid-century style. Um, And they're just like the nicest people. And of course these houses are still kind of relatively affordable because people still hate them. So yeah, I'm looking of, at I'm them like, right now. Yeah. A lot of young couples move in them and they are just the nicest people as a, a community of people on Instagram. They're like always liking each other's work and going, oh, my God. And have you thought about, you know, Teak, is, Teak, Teak still plays a big role in their lives, <laughs> like, whereas everybody else is like into their light woods. Um, and I just kind of love following all of them. Uh huh. Um, because they and these are all, like they all, look like they're townhouses yeah they're they're all they're like they're kind of like they're angular all townhouses. yeah they are and they're 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 small but they're open plan and they are a lot of them you know were really cheap housing in london and various other places um but they're just yeah so it's people like that that i just kind of you know all these people who are just into their very niche little things mm-hmm. and i kind of mm-hmm. like them for that oh yeah for sure for sure. Yeah, you've got you've got lots of nice little niche things. I guess I do too, but you do too. You do too. Yeah, and I mean I just, the reason I don't I'm... do I don't do any politics on. You know, I've got Twitter. Right. right. I've got Twitter for all my political stuff and my work right. stuff and right. you know, Facebook for whatever doesn't fit in those gaps. Right. Yeah. I mean, for me, it really was just I feel like I'm spending a lot of time on it and and um, I actually, I think my feed is better than most that are in that yeah. space. So there's a yeah, lot yeah. of like rediscovering women artists or like people yeah, who yeah. are doing something similar yeah. and their feeds are just not that interesting. Um, yeah, 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 and so exactly. I, and then there was one that I saw, um, that really was not interesting at all. Um, and mm. they had like 3000 followers and I was like, what the fuck? Like I have 250 <laughs> followers and I have this like really nice feed yeah. and like, yeah, why yeah. aren't like, how do I get people to find me? Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, I'll try that. Cause I, I can, you know, I know for me, I wouldn't click on somebody's name. No, exactly. Right. Exactly. So yeah, yeah, yeah. anyway, it yeah. seems to be working. Yeah. No, I can need, need to find a more interesting name too. But yeah. 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 I'm amazed at like people who are just, I mean, that, that woman I've mentioned before, the, the, the black woman living in Donegal, my God, Nadine. Oh yeah. I started following her. She's like a superstar here. I didn't realize she also is a TV presenter in Ireland. So maybe that, maybe that explains why she's got such a large following. Yeah. Yeah. She's funny. Um, Although I have to say now that I've been following her for a couple of weeks, it is kind of just more of the same. 
Yeah. Like yeah, another yeah, one of her in a super bright pink dress yeah, exactly. with a sheep in the background or something. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I like it. It makes me smile, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't know. I don't follow so many people. So. Well, I also don't understand about the real because the moving statue that, that Anita was laughing at, um, <laughs> like I put that on my reel. I put uh -huh. that on my reel and that had 2000 views. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That, that didn't actually translate in any new followers and then huh. um and then that's I thought, funny oh, yeah huh yeah. did it have a hashtag on it that was popular i had i i used like hashtag moving statues which i thought was kind of funny and then i also had the hashtag dairy girls because mm -hmm. of course mm -hmm. dairy girls has the child of prague in it in it the, right right the one where they the head falls off the statue yeah um yeah. so maybe that, maybe that was it maybe that was it wait the head falls but, off is that the one where the dog pees and they think the statue's weeping yeah no well there's no there's also <laughs> one where they michael sister michael loves the child of prague and they <laughs> drop it and then they oh that's right back, but the head's <laughs> on upside down and, yeah i do oh god so, that yeah, show yeah. is so good yeah. Exactly. I just got um, Hulu so that I can watch the Olympics. It starts on Friday. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Don't so forget. You, is it not on regular? It's not on regular um, TV I guess it shows? is on regular TV, but I don't have a TV. Oh, I mean, I only have a I have a TV that that streams stuff, but I don't, it mm. doesn't have an antenna on it. Or right, maybe right, it right. does, and I just don't know that. But um, mm. <laughs> the only way I know to do it is to get a streaming channel. <laughs> and oh, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. That sounds good. Oh, great. Yeah, but it's going to be, the times are going to be quite awkward, aren't they? Maybe not for you. So Japan, I mean, it's going to be. For us, it's like 12 hours. Yeah. I'm just, I'm yeah. assuming that our, our networks will just show it, you know, mm. they'll show reruns prime time or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my guess, but mm. I don't know. I'm excited. Yeah, no, that's I'm good. excited to watch it. We've had a lot of sports already, so we're kind of feeling a bit like oh, with the with the soccer, with the soccer, and then Wimbledon, yeah. and yeah, that's all I guess. I'm mm. so not watching the news or like plugged into anything right now. I don't know what. No, it's what I'm doing with my good life. To switch off. It's good to switch off. All right. How's work? Oh, it's just as stupid as ever. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I feel like I was tolerating it. Like after our career group, I was like, I, I was just much more tolerating it. And yeah, now yeah. I'm just, oh. yeah. but it, you know, it allows me to go out and see Kate for a week and yeah, you know yeah, yeah exactly. it, it allows me the flexibility and the income yeah I don't yeah. know but yeah I haven't really gotten as involved in activism since I've moved into the city as I would have liked or dreamed I would mm. have I I think because I'm traveling and yeah but so also much. with COVID it's hard to do crowd activities and things still right I mean it's a little bit although um I mean I've done I do all those things it's yeah. more that I'm just not making the time because you have yeah, to yeah. like very consistently show up yeah, yeah. right yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, makes yeah. it happen um yeah but I can't believe it's almost August I know so yeah well anyway get out there do nice yeah. things yeah That's important so okay. where's the rest of the gang no gang um don and chris are headed to michigan tomorrow and i think this is their usual day off like teaching classes or whatever mm -hmm. dana's on a mm -hmm. camping trip mary is for some reason can't be here and mm -hmm. astrid must just be overloaded on on work because she keeps just sending me the like decline <laughs> on her calendar oh, so i think she just can't make the time <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. um mm -hmm. yeah it's just a funny week but i had don and chris yesterday okay um, that's good so. that's good yeah i i um i meant to come on last night and then i took an antihistamine because it was so 
heavy yesterday with my antidepressant, I think. And then I'd also taken painkillers earlier in the day because uh, the one bit you didn't see of me in the water was that I pulled a mus pulled my shoulder blade out. Oh, no. not, not dislocated, not not dislocated, not that bad, but the, the thing sub like, sub something or other. Anyway, it's all fine. While you were swimming? Sleep. Yeah, I bought this like wetsuit that's way too tight and small. So <laughs> it was like a size large, but I think it was a China large. So it, you remember like large in Indonesia? Oh, which, yeah. You'd be yeah, like, do yeah. you have the XXXXL? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Ma -ma <-fi> -boo. <laughs> so it was um so I think what I was doing when we went into the sea, I actually kind of swam like that. And one stage I thought, oh, that's kind of that was too big a swoop. But I think the I think the wetsuit held it in place. <laughs> So I took the wetsuit off, um, oh, and then and, and I stood I stood in my own in the cottage on Wednesday night, and I was still awake at two a.m. with the pain. Oh no! So I, think, so I think so. Last night I had every intention of coming on here, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Between the antihistamine and the antidepressant <laughs> and the painkillers, I was like, "Woohoo! I'm going to bed. It's nine o'clock." Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> anyway. I go to bed at nine or nine thirty, even on nights when I haven't had all those things. <laughs> I don't know how you stay up so late. Anyhow, oh, well, shall we get going on our little thing? Yeah.